Now in this video, we want to evaluate the following limit. We have the limit, okay, as x tends to pi over 2 of x minus pi over 2 then times tangent of x. Alright, we'll be evaluating this limit using the following tool. The first we have is that this is a trigonometric identity that sine of um, this difference, x minus pi over 2, is the same thing as negative of cosine of x. Alright, great. Or we can also say that uh, cosine of x is negative of this. So if you've seen the cosine of x, we're going to substitute just that. We are going to make that substitution because of this second tool that the limit of sine theta over theta as the denominator theta tends to zero is one. Good. Let's go ahead and evaluate this limit using those tools. So um, I'm going to first of all rewrite the function and I'll be rewriting this tangent of x using um, the trig identity, right? I'm going to write it in terms of sine of co and cosine. So this will become Okay, let me just put it out here. This will become the limit as x tends to um, pi over 2 of so x tends to pi over 2 of x minus pi over 2. Then tangent is a something as sine of x divided by the cosine of x. Okay, great. And then the next thing we'd like to do here is to... Um, we write this function in this form, so I'm going to write the function part, all right? But first of all, I have to put down the limit of, now this is what we'll get. We'll have x minus pi over 2 divided by cosine of x times sine of x. So you observe what we've just done there, that is, we kept this sine where, where it was, and then push this cosine, since this is just a product, to the denominator of x minus pi over 2. And this is it. All right, good. And now we are going to make this substitution, making use of the first two, that cosine of x is the same thing as negative sine of, of that, right? So in place of cosine of x, I can clean things up a little bit and put down negative of sine of x minus pi over 2. All right, good. And then we're going to make use of the second two, all right? Great. The second two tells us that sine theta over theta, at theta tends to zero, is equal to one, all right? Good. But here we are having um, x minus pi over two divided by sine theta, all right? But forget about this negative, this right here has almost the same form as this, just that this has been inverted. So what I would like to do here is to invert this and then take the reciprocal of that. So we're gonna have the limit as x tends to pi over 2 of um, negative of sine of x minus pi over 2 divided by x minus pi over 2 and then I raise down all of those to the negative first power then I multiply it with sine of x. Alright, great. So let's see what we've got. This is the negative sign which I put down here. And then this function, okay, this right here is the reciprocal of this one. And to balance things up, I have to take the reciprocal of this one, right? And if you raise this to a negative one power, it will invert this fraction, giving us that back. And then this is the sign x, which I put right in front. Okay, so this is a negative sign. I can make it pass through or penetrate there, our limit notation, and we have it just like that. Right, now the limit, as x tends to pi over 2 of this function, if you observe that, as x tends to pi over 2, this place tends to 0, and the denominator 2 tends to 0. This formula here tells us that when the angle tends to 0, and the denominator tends to 0, then the result of that limit is going to be 1. Good. So that is the same thing that we have right here. So this tells us that the result of this limit, okay, of this first function is going to be 1, all right, times the negative sign, and again, we multiply it with, sine x as x tends to pi over 2 is 1 all right so this is negative 1 times 1 and the result there is negative 1 all right this right here is the limit of that function of this function as x tends to pi over 2 okay great all right thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel